Google Analytics 4 will soon completely replace Universal Analytics, which is the older version of Google Analytics that a lot of people are still using. Today, I'm going to help you set up and shift over to Google Analytics 4 so that you can start tracking or continue tracking important analytics happening on your website. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in this brief Google Analytics tutorial for beginners, I'm going to help you set up and connect Google Analytics 4 with both a Wix website for those of you that use Wix and also for those of you that run a Squarespace website. Okay, so before we launch into this Google Analytics guide, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that quick note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into the process of setting up Google Analytics 4 for both Wix and Squarespace. Okay, so first we need to sign up to Google Analytics if you haven't done so already. Now to do this, you do need a Google account. So if you don't have one, go ahead and create a Google account, then simply navigate over to analytics.google.com and that's gonna take you here. Then simply click start measuring. Then navigate over to account name and add your account name. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm just going to add Stuart's tutorials. However, what you can do is add your business or brand name. Then simply navigate down the page and click next. Now this is where you want to add your property name. So this is the website that you want to track. So again, this can be the same as your account name or it can be different. For example, if you had multiple properties that you wanted to track multiple websites, then you can add those multiple properties within that one account. However, for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're just going to create the one account that has one property. Again, the website name is going to be called Stuart's Tutorials. Then once you've added the name of your business, your website, simply come down and select the reporting time zone and then come down and choose the currency. You can also edit these later on, then come down and click next. Here we want to add our basic business information. Go ahead and select the industry category that you operate in. I'm going to come down and simply click business and industrial. Then select the size of your business. Then navigate down the page. And this is where you have the option to select how you intend to use Google Analytics with your business. Now, if you're not too sure, you can select all of them. I'm gonna select these ones. And then come down and click create. Then what you want to do is first accept the terms of service agreement for your region that you operate in. I'm going to go ahead and click here and then click accept. If you want to receive emails from Google Analytics like future announcements, feedback and testing, offers from Google, then go ahead and select those options. I'm going to navigate over to save. And because this tutorial is all about setting up and connecting Google Analytics 4 with our Wix website or Squarespace website, what we want to do is navigate over to web. Then simply navigate up to website URL and this is where you want to add the URL for your Wix website or your Squarespace website. And then once you've added your website domain, your website URL in like this, then simply navigate over to stream name and we're gonna add our website name again. Then all we need to do is navigate down to create stream. And congratulations, just like that, we've completed the initial setup of our Google Analytics 4 account. Now the first website I'm gonna show you how to connect Google Analytics with is the Wix website. So to connect Google Analytics with Wix, simply navigate up to measurement ID and click this copy icon. And that's gonna copy this measurement ID over here. Then simply log into your Wix website. And once you've logged into your Wix website dashboard, simply navigate over to marketing and SEO, then navigate over to marketing integrations and click here. Then locate the Google Analytics integration, come down and click connect. Now it's important to note that you need a premium plan and also a custom domain to connect Google Analytics 4 with your Wix website. 
then come down to add Google Analytics ID then simply paste in the measurement ID that we copied from Google Analytics and then simply click save and as you can see you connected Google Analytics to your site now it can take up to 48 hours before you start seeing any data so give it at least a day before you start seeing data being generated within Google Analytics and it's as simple as that. Now for those that run a Squarespace website, I'm now gonna show you how to connect Google Analytics 4 with your Squarespace website. So go ahead, log into your Squarespace website. And then once you've logged into your Squarespace account, simply navigate down to settings over on the left hand side. Then locate advanced down below. Now there's actually two methods that we can use to connect Google Analytics 4 with our Squarespace account. The first method is by navigating up to external API keys. And again, simply locate Google Analytics and paste in the measurement ID. Remember, this is the measurement ID that we copied from within Google Analytics. Now, if you also wanna keep your Universal Analytics connected, or you want to add Universal Analytics as well as Google Analytics 4, then all you need to do is add a comma in between both of these codes, as you can see down here. Then once you've pasted in your measurement ID, simply navigate up to save. And it's as simple as that to connect Google Analytics 4 with your Squarespace website. Again, give it at least 48 hours before you start seeing any data being generated within your Google Analytics account. Now the other method is to exit out of this and head back to advanced. And then within advanced, what we can do is navigate down to code injection. Now, in order to use the code injection, you do need at least the business plan. So the lowest paid plan is not gonna allow you to enable this feature. Then all we need to do is head back to our Google Analytics 4 account and copy the global site tag. So go ahead and jump back into your Google Analytics account and remember this is just an alternative method. And because it's the first time that we're connecting Google Analytics, simply come down and click global site tag, then navigate over to this copy icon over here to copy this entire code. Then simply head back to Squarespace and navigate down to header and simply paste in that code. And as you can see, we've pasted in the global site tag. And again, all you need to do is navigate up to save. However, you just need to use one of these methods, either the external API connection or the code injection. And it's as simple as that. And then within Google Analytics, all you need to do is click on home, and that's gonna take you to this home section here, where you can see an overview of basic information and data happening within your website. If you wanna learn more about how you can navigate Google Analytics 4, then what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will help you navigate and understand how to make the most of Google Analytics 4. However, that is it for this Google Analytics 4 tutorial for beginners. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Google Analytics 4 tutorial for those that use Wix and Squarespace. Now, if you have any questions about Google Analytics 4, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.